Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? So let's just see what we got. What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? <clears throat> No. Oh. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. This is major life changes, major life choices. So your life is changing. You're going to have a major life change. Okay? Expect the unexpected. Five is, uh, that's personal freedom, breaking free from something. Your life is about to change in a very big way. It's, but it's, it comes from the choices that you make, okay? 555 five, five is expect the unexpected, okay? Mm -mm. There's a need for change, and there's going to be one. You have been ignoring your gut. You've been ignoring your gut, Aries. Very interesting. Mm. What do we have for Aries? To withdraw, take a time out, reflect, reflect on your life. Maybe you're realizing your goals or you're going through a period of re-identification. This is soul searching. You know, I feel like right now, uh, it's, it's a time of re-identification for you. I mean, the hermit is a wise, wise, wise individual who goes within to reflect on their future. And maybe that's what you're doing right now. It's interesting because as I was shuffling, as I was shuffling, I saw the Hierophant. But I didn't say it because I just was like, I'm going to keep that to myself. I'm going to keep that to myself. The Hierophant. Hierophant is a channeler. This is somebody that has a direct connection to God. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody that is very, very spiritual. This uh, is somebody that uh, believes in a higher power that can teach you something. You may be dealing with somebody that uh, has some sort of... Uh, spiritual gift or something like that i mean this is somebody that has a direct connection to god that has something that they can teach you okay the, the hierophant is a teacher you know they say that the the teacher will appear when the uh, student is ready i think i've probably told you that before right so anyhow The Hierophant. Believe. Have faith. Listen to your gut. I feel like you're going through a period of transition right now, especially with that Hermit card. I feel like I feel like you've you've become very wise. You've be, you've gained a lot of wisdom from your life experiences, but it says you've been ignoring your gut. It's interesting because the Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. And this five, which is May, May is, is the Taurus month. I just happened to pick that up. The Taurus is also uh, intuitive. It's uh, your gut, okay? That's the Hierophant is about listening to your gut, okay? So this says you've been ignoring your gut. You've been ignoring your gut about something. But you know because the Hermit is consciously aware. So it's like your gut is telling you something, but you're ignoring it. 
you're ignoring the advice okay I'm not sure if you're dealing with a spiritual person that has given you advice and you're ignoring that advice as well so what do we have for Aries The Hierophant is also about commitment and marriage, so it may have something to do with commitment and marriage. Five of Wands reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups reversed. You got you you. I, I don't know if you're you're not getting what you deserve. You're, maybe there's a loss of money or a loss of employment or a loss. You know, Six of Pentacles reversed is an imbalance. Both of these sixes reversed are an imbalance. It feels like you're feeling at a loss right now. You're probably struggling with the Five of Wands. That's a struggle. It's a power struggle. Struggling with change. Um, mm. reversed knight of swords ten of wands reversed devil there's greed here there's greed there's lust there's illusion page of swords reversed knight of cups reversed addictions death Last card out is death. Major transformation. You are going through a major transformation. I know that you are. I already knew that. Okay, this is life changing. So you are going through a major trans trans transformation, a major transition. But I feel like you've been trying to ignore it. You've been trying to avoid it. What you don't see coming is happiness. This is happiness. This is... Uh, rejoicing this is a happy home it is a solid foundation it's something to celebrate this is commitment so you what you don't see coming is an opportunity for extreme happiness you don't see it and but I feel like if you take a time out to reflect on what your gut is telling you and go down that path to higher enlightenment that you've been guided to go down because there's a star in this hermit card it's like you've been given an opportunity for wish fulfillment but you have to go down a path the hermit has to go down that path you have to walk down that path okay and I feel like it's it's very I feel like you're in a place right now where you're having a hard time I feel like you're really really struggling there's a lot of strife there's a lot of tension there's a lot of imbalance I feel like there's financial struggles, serious financial struggles. I feel like, you know, everything doesn't stay the same. Everything changes, and the struggle with accepting that is the biggest problem. I feel like, oh, let's get your person before we go any further. I Because the Five of the Wands, the first card out, that's strife, that's tension. And it could be extreme, but I feel like it's been in the past. I feel like you're you're ready for this to stop, right? You're ready for... You, you're ready to get your wish fulfillment, but because you are so, I don't know if you're obsessed with something or you have some sort of addiction that is holding you back. I mean, the devil is addictions, it's obsessions, it's infatuations, it's, it's bad behavior. I feel like you have been um, not seeing something clearly because the shadow, I mean, the devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. You may have been... Uh, duped. Okay, I'm not sure if you've been duped by some something or something, some someone. Um, you may be feeling hopeless at this time. The star card is in the. Unfortunately, it's in the future position, but it's reversed. So yes, there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, but it's like you're reluctant to go down that path. You know, you have to have faith. The Hierophant is the biggest card of faith, and the Star card is too, but this Star card is reversed. That's no faith. You have to have faith. You have to believe. You have to believe that everything will turn out as it should. You know, you have to have faith that, you know, endings lead to new beginnings. You have to believe that uh, 
everything happens for a reason. You have to believe in your higher development. You have to believe in your evolution. If you stay put in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling, you won't have the growth. You won't have the success. That's not where what's meant to happen. You're not meant to stay stagnant. That was a mouthful. Anyhow, um, Six of Pentacles reverse has been an abuse of generosity, I feel, or an abuse of power or very greedy. It's like we have somebody here that is very materialistic that has, or they have some serious addictions that has held them back from success. I think that you need to let go of something. I think you've been carrying a heavy weight trying to prove your success. You've been working really, really hard to prove something. The middle card is the Ten of Wands reversed, okay? It's like you've obtained some sort of success and you want to uh, continue that success but I feel like there's some sort of loss here with the six of pentacles reverse it's like you're not this is like a rejection or there's a one-sidedness or you're not getting you're not getting the money or you're not getting the payout or you're not getting the the balance equality money whatever it is that you think that you deserve but I don't I, it's interesting because it feels like you're so resistant to change that if you want more, you're going, that's part of evolution. It is part, you have to accept change. So anyhow, I feel like, um, let's get your person, whoever you're dealing with, or somebody that's strongly in your energy, and then we'll keep going. The hangman, the king of pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Pisces. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Talking about one person. Oh, oh, the Emperor reversed. So you're dealing with somebody that is bringing you down. They're stealing your energy. They are. This person is draining you. They are draining you. They are literally, are they draining your bank account? They're making you angry. You're dealing with some... Uh, first card out is that hangman. I think it, I don't know if it's a Pisces. Money hungry. They're draining your account. They're draining you. They're draining you. I'm not sure if you're being naive. They may see you as naive. Somebody that you're dealing with sees you as naive. The, king, the emperor in reverse is somebody that's naive. Whoever you're dealing with is pulling the wool over your eyes and they are getting away with it and you're allowing it. Could be another Aries. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the first card out is that hangman. This person is very cunning. They are very, very clever. They take time to plan things. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely greedy. They are. Narcissistic by the looks of things. Controlling, very controlling. This person can't take care of themselves. I'm gonna tear my phone over, I'm sorry. So there's somebody here that can't take care of themselves financially and they're using you. They're using you for the money. They may they may put it off like they're rich or that they have a lot of money, but the only reason I feel the only reason they're hanging on to you is for the money. Where's the love? I don't see it anywhere. You need to let go. Ten of Wands reverse, that is let go. Let go of this baggage. Let go of this burden. Something is weighing you down. You're dealing with a toxic, unhealthy situation that is weighing you down. It's time to get moving. The Knight of Swords is, is in your advice position. 
Take action. Get moving. Stand up for yourself. Protect yourself. Do something about it. Do something about it. You need to drop something that is toxic. Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, reversed, the devil. It could be an addiction. It could be an obsession. It could be a person. There's codependency here. There's something here that is weighing you down from success, from getting what you deserve. It's devil energy. So you want God, the higher power, which is the Herald font, to give you something, but you're unwilling to make any changes. Page of Swords reversed in the challenge position. That's bad news. It's fighting. It's aggressive behavior. A message that you don't want to hear. Be prepared. You're going to be receiving some information that you don't want to hear. Maybe coming from a younger person. Um, it could be a younger man or a younger child or, or it doesn't have to be a child. Somebody that is younger. There is somebody here that is younger than you that has some sort of information from, for you. The Knight of Cups reverse also in what lies ahead. Okay, that's in your that's in your challenge which lies ahead. The Knight of Cups reversed. That's that's I don't know, breakup, separation. Underneath it is the death card. It's not love. This is this is a loveless, unrequited love situation. It's a breakup, it's a separation, the Knight of Cups reverse. It's like you're dealing with somebody who this is like um speaks words of love they say words of love but they don't really love you or something like that um oh my goodness gracious i think that you're dealing with somebody that uses emotional blackmail the page of swords reverse next to the knight of cups reverse somebody is using emotional blackmail on you they lie to you they don't tell you the truth i think that you know it but you're in denial of the whole situation I feel like there is some heartbreaking news, Knight of Cups reversed next to the Page of Swords reversed, heartbreaking news that I don't know if you've already, you already heard this news or what. I feel like there's some heartbreaking news here that you have received or that you know is coming that you are totally trying to ignore. It's time for this profound life change. And I do, the, the, the outcome card is the death card. That's the, that's the separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. Right around the corner, we have the star reverse. This is why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why why am I not getting what I deserve? Why am I why am I because the six of pentacles is reversed? Why are things so unbalanced? Why is life such a struggle? It's because you're clinging to something. You're clinging to something that is weighing you down and you're not being honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. If you're if that's part of, you know, if you want God to bless you, you have to be honest with yourself. You want those blessings, you've got to be honest with yourself. If you don't be honest with yourself, then you're not being true. I mean, the star is a card of blessings, but it's reversed. Yeah, there's a blessing available for you, but you have to walk down that path. You have to. You have to. And I feel like you know that you have to, but the, there's fear. The star card reverse is extreme fear. With the devil, the devil is ego. Okay, it's ego and it is fear. Ego is fed by fear, okay? Fear of what everybody else is going to say. What are they going to say? Because when the shadow is lifted, everybody sees, right? So I feel like, you know, there's opportunity for guaranteed success here if you can go down the path to success. But it will require you to take those steps. With these sixes reversed, that's not taking any steps. It's staying put. It's like, I'm not taking the steps. I'm not taking the steps. I'm staying right here. I'm not going to do anything different. It's safe. It's safe. You know, but when, when you step outside of your comfort zone, you will have guaranteed success. Whoever you are dealing with is greedy, selfish, um, controlling, narcissistic. They've depleted you. They've depleted you. I don't know if, if they've depleted your, your bank account or they've depleted your energy. This person thinks that they have, they do think, they know. They're like, I have complete, I got this dumbass wrapped right around my finger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
<clears throat> death, the end, major transition, major transformation, separation, loss that leads to a new beginning. You have been duped. You have been duped by an individual that is, it's like an enemy disguised as a friend. And I feel like it's somebody you've been in a relationship with. The Knight of Cups is a relationship. I don't know, maybe you were married or committed to this person with that Four of Wands. Or living, I mean, that's a home. I don't know if you've lived with this person. I think that you have an opportunity for happiness in the future if you get moving. The Knight of Swords is go, go, you must go, you must go. I also feel for some of you, you know, you may have been uh, caught off guard by a sudden arrival. You know, for some of you, you've strugg been struggling with change, struggling with a decision. Maybe you've been caught off guard. I mean, do have caught off guard by a sudden arrival. You're, you're weighed down. You're, you're carrying something that you need to let go of so that you can have the new beginning. So that you can have what you deserve. It's like you're throwing it away with the Six of Pentacles reversed. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. But you have to break free from that devil is you must break free or things are going to get worse. That's what the meaning is. This is a disaster. The devil is a disaster. It's a disaster because of addictions. It's a disaster because of ego. It's a disaster because of fear. You have to face your demons if you, unless you want to live in hell. And it feels like I can't master my emotions. The Knight of Cups reverse. That's that's like a not able to handle emotions. Who I feel like there's some sort of emotional turmoil, emotional upset here over having to make a choice or yeah, or having been duped. I feel like there's this is very emotional. I do feel like it's emotional. I feel like you've been ignoring your emotions as well. I mean, the Knight of Cups is delusional, so I'm not sure if, you, if, if you're dealing with somebody that is a delusional or if you've been delusional. There's delusions here. Uh, the Page of Swords reversed is not very smart, okay? This, or somebody that thinks that they are very smart. I feel like you have an enemy here with the, with the Page of Swords reversed. That's an enemy. It is. You got, I don't know if you got somebody here that is a liar or they're a cheat. And underneath, above that page of swords reverse is the six of penny, pentacles. It's like a theft. It's like, it is theft. When somebody stays in a relationship and it just does look like it's a relationship with the knight of cups just for the money, it's theft. It is theft. You know, if there's no love there. It does feel like this is theft. The Six of Pentacles reversed. It feels like you're dealing with a thief. It feels like somebody has stolen something from you. And maybe it's just it's just your uh, stability. This person has made you feel very insecure. Maybe it's just your money. Why is this happening? That's the star. Why is this happening? It's happening because you're not taking any action. You're closing your eyes to the truth. Choosing not to reflect. Choosing to ignore it. Choosing to ignore the truth even though you know the truth. You know the truth. This is an abuse of power. Somebody has abused, they've abused their power over you and they, they, they really have complete control over you at this time. You have to find your resources to break free from this person. Devil. Devil and death, both upright. Ooh. 
This is the end of a toxic, unhealthy situation. I do feel like you are going to be breaking free. I can only hope and pray at this point. Page of Swords reversed. That is bad news. It's not good news. Being caught off guard. You may have received some bad news already. And I don't know who it's about. It could be about a child. And that's a different story. It could be, this is like a, maybe there's been a loss of, of some sort. But this is a time of transition. Whatever this is, it's, it's leaving an unhealthy situation behind. It's like it wasn't working out. It wasn't, it wasn't healthy. It's time to go. It's time to go. Somebody has been slave to some sort of addiction, but this is, I feel like it's the end. It's the end. It's the end. It's the end. And this leads to a new life. I feel like this week is, is what's, what I see in the middle is the Ten of Wands reverse. That's letting something go, you know, that has been weighing you down. It's been, this is like a collapse. It is a collapse. It's like it's really held you down from success. You need to relax. You need to you need to take a time out. You need to work on yourself. You need to listen to yourself. Listen to yourself only. Okay, if you're listening to a society, which that could be the case with a devil card, don't don't because that's that's devil energy. You have to listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. You're definitely going to need time out. You're going to need time to reflect on whatever is happening this week. I feel like somebody, I don't know if somebody has left you suddenly or you're leaving them suddenly. The Knight of Swords is a sudden departure. You could be leaving them. They could be leaving you. There's also a sudden arrival here. I feel like somebody has suddenly arrived and that changes everything. Expect the unexpected. You're going to be caught off guard. Some sort of truth is coming because of the Knight of Swords. I don't think I did this last time too, didn't I? I don't know. The Knight of Swords is the truth, okay? Some sort of truth is coming. Somebody is coming in with some very honest information, truthful information. This, this can help to break you free. It can help to break you free. Somebody may be coming to help you break free. Maybe they've already arrived. The Ten of Wands reverse is freedom. And 555 is personal freedom. So you're breaking free from something that has been overwhelming. It has been over. It's been really... Uh, heavy because I feel very, very heavy. It's been very heavy. You want peace. You want harmony. You want, you want to feel light again. You have to go towards the light. You have to reach for that light. You have to walk down that path. You have to sever ties. The devils, you need to find your mental strength to sever ties with some sort of unhealthy situation that you are bound to. It's either an addiction or it's something that is codependent that you are codependent on. The major outcome is separation, loss that leads to a new beginning. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I got. Expect the unexpected. You do have a new beginning here because death is endings that lead to new beginnings. You may think that this is unfair, but this is going to lead to your wish fulfillment. Good luck.